This is Uniclete. What a wild place, especially when it's still blisteringly cold even in April. And the Bering Sea, as well as the entire village, is mostly ice. Around 800 people call this home. And there are few roads out this way. So aside from barges that come in occasionally to deliver things like cars and fuel, it's all about the airport here. If you want to get anywhere, it's pretty much going to be either airplane or snow machine as they call it up here. We also happen to have a Flight Radar 24 receiver here. It's critical to improving coverage of aircraft flying in the vicinity. And this is the receiver host, Tim Daniels. He's a mechanic working with the Bering Strait School District, and he's installed one of our antennas on top of this hangar at the airport. So here comes our king here. We'll, I'll get him uh, started fueling. Cool. Uniclete is a sort of regional hub for aviation here. That's especially true for the Bering Strait School District, which encompasses over a dozen schools and small villages all around the area, and which has its headquarters here. Many of these schools are so remote that they need everything flown in. Whether it's a replacement stove or school lunches, or even teachers coming into work for a season or kids heading out to a game or event, it all needs airlifting. And that is done out of here on this King Air, which is maintained by Tim Daniels. Our plane is used for everything from, uh, we provide food for the hot lunch program and breakfast, so that's around 50,000 pounds a month that we fly out from here, because uh, all the food will come into Uniclete, because it's some, some of the food is subsidized by USDA, and then we have whatever it takes to keep the schools going, whether plumbers, electricians, uh, vehicle mechanic, to uh, Teacher trainers. Bering Strait School District covers down here to uh, St. Michael Stebbins and out here to uh, Savunga Gamble and up here to Little Diomede and up to Shishmaraf. Uh, Wales, Brevig, Teller, White Mountain, Gullivan, Elam, Koyuk, and Shaktulik. So it's, those are the 15 sites that, that we have. We haven't had a nice runway in Little Diomede in probably six plus years. Uh, so we depend on a helicopter to get in out of there. Wow, that's this little island right here? Yeah, the Big Diomede obviously is Russia. Little Diomede's ours. Wow, that's crazy. So there's three miles apart. Tim says that installing one of our Flight Radar 24 receivers here has been hugely useful in keeping track of their own aircraft as it hops around the area. But it is a real knowledge. I'll stick a link up top here and in the description to track the plane. You can see how busy it is on any given day. Yeah. We really enjoy uh, having that Flight Radar 24 here. We assure uh, parents, school board members, superintendent, yes, we know where our plane is. We have layers. We use marine radio to contact each school. It's very common to be on the radio with them within 20 minutes. So that, that is where we narrow it from there. We know where our plane is within 20 minutes because uh, we're who do you talk to last. And we also then, but flight radar is really giving us that la added layer. We don't have to buy a, per a subscription to track them, to send out blips, whatever. Uh, because flight radar is there, and we know. As soon as the principal, the maintenance guys, the janitors uh, you know, get that app, basically that's it. They find out in the morning the plane's supposed to be here at even at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. They'll, look at, they'll pull up their app in the afternoon and just see where it's at. So it's really useful. Nice. This is Yuri, the pilot, and he's the only pilot. Together with Lonnie, who helps out the team, this is the entire crew keeping this operation running every day of the year, in all kinds of weather. Koyuk tomorrow. So we'll put some stuff on for Koyuk. But yeah, this is it. Pilot, mechanic, helper. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Low overhead. <laughs> yeah, that's me. You take care. You too. Yeah, tomorrow he leaves at 9 and goes to all these sites and is done at 4.20. Wow. 
That's a big day of flying. We try not to bring them in just for two hours and be done. Okay. We usually like to, if we're going to fly, we're going to put it, get as much in as we can to give them as a, a break. We had the larger engines installed, which were the, the uh, Dash 52s, 56A Dash 52s. We put in a cargo pod. So uh, this airplane was actually a medevac in Norway. Wow. So we yeah. bought it from Norway and it had the cargo door so it saved us quite a bit of money not having to buy new or have the million dollar door installed. Yeah. But it really allows us to move all kinds of interest in the so We've had the airplane over five years and uh, I think the seats have, have worn very well. Yeah. And really durable. I chose to, the carpet to be a, a full loop wool. And I know a lot of people in the Village Flying prefer the, the, the plastic, the coin type. But I felt like this knocks down the noise, even though it's a fairly quiet airplane. And also for freight, you have less chances of when you drop something to, to damage the, the floor. We're always looking for more hosts, wherever you might happen to be, but especially in more remote locations. I'll stick a link in the description in case you're interested in hosting one yourself. It's easy and free. If your application is approved, we'll send one out to you at no cost. The receiver is super easy to install. It's plug and play, and the antenna is easy to set up as well. Your decision will plan accordingly. In return, you get a free business subscription to Flight Radar 24, which comes with extensive live flight data, weather layers, charts, and all the bells and whistles. And of course, you become part of a community of hosts who are helping to improve coverage of aircraft all around the world. Catch you next week when I'll be flying out of here back down to Anchorage on one of Raven Alaska's trusty Dash 8s. In Unicleet for Flight Radar 24, I'm Gabriel Lee.